Hey, this is Coach Green, your basketball scoring coach. In this video, I'm going to break down how to shoot a layup. Now watch. All right, so the first part we got to talk about, we have to talk about the aim. So where are we going to aim when we shoot the basketball? So the first thing I would say when I shoot, when I go to shoot this layup, I want to focus on hitting the top above the square or right at the corner of the square. Now, the reason why that's important is because most kids have been taught to shoot below the rim. Now, as you go up levels of your competition, players become longer, they jump higher, they're faster, they have quicker uh, reaction time. So we don't want to necessarily shoot below the rim because nine out of 10 times, our shot's gonna get blocked. So as we're, as we're practicing shooting the layup, I want you to stand right here and focus on hitting the corner of the square and what I want you to do here is make about 10 from this side. I want you to make 10 hitting the angle right on the, uh, the corner. Then I want you to make 10 above the square. So now when you start to train for the layups as you're making game-like moves, now you have a better chance of making your shot versus getting your layup blocked. Now we're gonna work on strengthening our shooting hand. Most players at the beginning stage have a tendency of wanting to shoot a layup with both hands. So to build up our strength and our confidence shooting with our right hand in this case, one hand layup, we're gonna work on bringing the ball and cone together. We'll bring the cone to the ball as support and as we shoot this layup, we're working on shooting with one hand. Now, the reason why I like this is because now we take away the left hand, which is typically the off hand, which gets in the way of us shooting a layup. And at the beginning stage, that's why we want to shoot with two hands because we haven't built the confidence nor the strength to shoot with one hand. So what I want you to do here, I want you to stand right about a step away from the basket. You're gonna take one step because we're shooting on our right side. We're gonna step with our left foot and we're gonna shoot the layup. Now again, what I want you to focus on here is aiming for the corner of the backboard. We're gonna shoot about 10. I want you to make 10 aiming at the corner of the top of the backboard. And then I want you to make 10 shooting above the square. Now, before we get into shooting the layup with the dribble, there's one key thing that I need you to focus on as you shoot your layup. With most players at the beginning stage, even as they get older, what they fail to do is drive that inside that leg as I'm pushing off my... So now, before we get into shooting the layup with the dribble, there's one thing that I have to point out that we have to make sure that we pay close attention to to make our layups more effective. So as we shoot this layup with most players at the beginning stage, even as you get older, right? We see a lot of players, they fail to do this. So as I'm pushing off my left foot to go up and shoot the layup, what I want you to emphasize here is driving this outside leg, the knee up to your belly. The reason why that's important because it allows you to get lift on your layup. When we don't do that, we have a tendency of not getting off the ground. And that means that most of the time our shot gets blocked because we're not, we're not elevating high enough and the defender is able to come through our body to block our shot. When we jump and we bring this outside knee leg up to our belly, it allows us to be more explosive and then it gets us higher up to the basket when then our release points, our release point becomes higher. And then we also able to embrace contact, right? Embrace contact and 
still finish at the same time. Now there's one other thing that I want you to pay close attention to as well. When you shoot your layups, when you shoot your layups, don't get in the habit of shooting the layup and running towards the baseline, out of bounds line. Because if you miss, you're not in position to get your rebound and put the ball back up for a layup. So this means we have to make sure that we control our body as we're going up for the layup. So that means as I go up for the layup, I'm landing right by the basket just in case if I miss it, I'm in position to put it back. I don't want to get to the point where I shoot the layup and I'm running out of bounds. Now, at that point, I'm not in position to rebound the basketball and then put it back up and make the layup. Now, let's get into the next part of perfecting the layup. Now let's begin to add the dribble to our layup. So what I want you to do, I want you to start about three steps away from the basket. So what that means when I step with my left, I'm a dribble right. And then this, this is my third step to go up for the layup. So again, it's going to be left, right, left, layup. So now this starts to build confidence as we start to drive to the basket. We're maintaining control and we're still maintaining focus on our mechanics. Now what I want you to do, I want you to grab a cone. As you start this, we'll start right about the second hash mark and we're going to work on dribbling right, left, and then we're up for the layup. Now watch for speed. Now, one thing I have to point out when we shoot the layup, as we're shooting the layup, we want to make sure we don't get in the habit as we start to drive, because this starts to happen when we add in the dribble. We don't want to get in the habit of bringing the ball back across our body to the inside of our body. Because what that does, now we're exposing the ball to the defender, right? A lot of times when you're seeing players at the beginner level start to dribble, they start to swing the ball, and that's how they gain momentum to shoot the layup. What I want you to focus on instead, as you drive, I want you to bring this left hand over, protect the ball, keep the ball on the side of your body, and then finish right from your shoulder and shoot the layup. So in this situation, I want you now to again bring the get the cone and this time we're going to start back at the elbow so we gradually work our way back we start off stationary with no steps then we work on taking one step shooting the layup and then we'll step back a fur further then we take three steps now we're going to take additional steps because we're going to be at the elbow now as we drive our focus our focal point is to make sure we keep the ball on the side of our body and not get in the habit of swinging it back to the inside. Now watch full speed. Now, I want to give you a bonus tip when it comes to perfecting the layup. So this is a great drill to do with beginners, um, for beginners, because it starts to incorporate the footwork before we add the dribble. So all we're going to do, we're going to toss the ball out. As we step, we catch the ball. As we step in with our left foot, left foot's on the ground. We step right, then left, 
and then we're shooting the layup. Now what this does, it helps kids at the younger level develop the confidence with the footwork, catching, like if I'm coming down off a fast break, I catch a pass, now I gotta go up and catch and shoot the layup as I'm catching and finishing above the square. So now as we incorporate the footwork, we're gonna start our feet balanced, we toss it out, we're left, right, left, and we're gonna finish with the layup. We're gonna aim for the corner of the top of the corner of the square, and then we're gonna make five at the corner, and then I want you to make five above the square. Now watch full speed. Before you go, make sure you click this video right here. This video will teach you how to be more creative around the basket. You'll become more comfortable finishing with your weak hand or your strong hand, and you'll have a more variety finishing package around the basket. Also, make sure you click the notification bell so you will be notified whenever we release the next video. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.